Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at the Logitech M585 multi device mouse. This is something that I have been looking forward to, and um, the beauty about this particular mouse is that it's got both a wireless USB connectivity with Bluetooth connectivity all in the same device and it can connect up to two simultaneous devices so let's have a look at uh, the packaging so it basically says a uh, multi-device uh, and this is the connectivity button uh, we'll have a look at it afterwards uh, for device 1 and 2 and of course uh, most new Logitech devices have the uh, Logi logo rather than the whole Logitech name um, it says that it's got 24 month battery life 7 customizable buttons it's uh, basically also have a extra feature uh, which is called the Logitech Flow now, this only works on basically computers so it's Windows or Macs um, that you can copy and paste text and content including photos between devices um, so the mouse actually acts like a hub uh, to store temporary information when you switch between devices you can actually copy it back so this is uh, new okay um, basically uh, it says um, it um, requires a USB port for uh, Windows devices or if you are using Bluetooth uh, it works on Windows, Mac, iPad OS, Chrome OS, and uh, also Android devices 5.0 and above. Um, at just below, I'd say just below 20, 18 US dollars for uh, this unit. Uh, this is quite a steal, so let's uh, basically open this. Um, sorry, I don't have a better way of. Uh, opening this because uh, or maybe I do maybe uh, I could cut this or something now let me just cut this through then okay wonder what's in there so there's nothing else in there um, so that is the mouse this is the packaging hmm. okay nothing much so that's the mouse I'm going to leave the packaging aside the mouse uh, feels quite good. It's black and um, beach color here. The side uh, has a soft rubber feel to it. Uh, it feels comfortable, uh, although I really don't like all this soft rubber because after one two years, uh, you know, it will start like dissolving. Uh, I don't know about this unit, but um, I prefer hard plastics it's easier to clean uh, so there are two buttons it's a scroll wheel and this is probably a trigger or the uh, swap function uh, extra two buttons here which uh, is programmable according to the packaging this probably needs the uh, Logitech software uh, on off switch this is off on and then I think the unifying controller is inside it comes with an alkaline battery and great so the unifying controller is actually inside the mouse very neat place to store isn't it and uh, it says that this battery uh, alkaline battery lasts 24 months so let me just take off the seal okay so we are up okay so now it's waiting for first device so I'm gonna pause here and uh, boot up my windows and then we'll come back so I've uh, booted up my laptop now um, I haven't connected the mouse yet and uh, so this is the uh, unifying controller you can see like uh, it's flashing device 1 I think it's waiting for a connection so basically let me just uh, leave the mouse here okay and then just uh, plug this thing in hmm. there we go So it's now connected and the uh, flashing light goes off, uh, basically it means it's connected.
so let me just show you my mouse cursor okay very smooth actually fairly high resolution okay so that's one right so next thing I want to do is let's uh, get my pixel if I can do this let's see if I go to Bluetooth okay so I'm going to click the uh, Huh. So let me just show you what just came on screen. Uh, it basically says uh, install the Logitech software uh, to get full control of the mouse buttons. So I am. Let me see if I can do this. Let's uh, install this. All right. I wonder how big this is though. So it's downloading from the web. This is probably uh, either Windows detecting this specific device or it's a push from the uh, USB controller. So we'll come back to this and we'll let this install at the side. So I want to see if I can pair this to a... Uh, so this I'm still at uh, first device. So I am going to um, basically click the device button, the device number 2. Now device 2 is actually flashing. Uh, I'm going to leave this and let's see if I can pair new device. There we go. So the M585, let me just connect this. So now the 585 is actually paired onto my Android phone. And uh, the light comes on actually. Now you can actually see my, um, my mouse cursor. Um, on my Android phone, which is amazing, and that's one one of the reasons why, um, of course, um, um, once I'm pairing with uh, or connecting to my phone, uh, the cursor doesn't appear on my uh, Windows laptop anymore. So if I want to switch, let me just see if I can like uh, let me just go back to Bluetooth here. Okay, so let me just uh, switch to device one. So now it's disconnected here on the Android and now it's uh, on the Windows. Okay, Let me just show you how seamless the connection is. I'm going to click 2. So now it's pairing and now my mouse is on my Android device. And uh, if I... Okay, one of these is actually a back button. Uh, click here. I'm actually back onto my Windows. Okay, So if I click connect, see the Windows cursor is not moving. My Android cursor is actually moving now. Then if I click, okay. So let me just install the uh, Logitech app first. Uh, let's see. And click OK. Install Logitech options. No thanks. Okay, so that's installing. So let me just get connected back to my Android device. Okay, so uh, the Android device doesn't have um, any specific software. So let's see if I can try out focus on my. So this is setting up. So let let this set up uh, on my Android device. Um, let's see um, my scroll view. Oh, okay, it actually scrolls down. So if I have a web browser, it actually scrolls through. Uh, in fact, let me just go back to music. So you can actually see that it actually scrolls up and down on my scroll wheel. So that's quite good. Okay, um, left button. Okay, this is basically a cursor. Let me just pause this. Okay, what else does it do? Left, right, nothing. These two buttons. Mm, this should be a right button. Okay, so the, the second button is actually a back button, so it goes back. I wonder what this thing does. Maybe it's, um, I gotta configure this or something. Okay. Wonder if it, uh, no, it doesn't. I was wondering if it can go forward or down, but, um, okay, so this is definitely scroll. If I click and scroll, yeah, it still it still clicks, right? Okay, so that's um, the Android connectivity. Uh, very useful. 
I actually bought this mouse uh, for VR usage. So if I on we are if I'm using my VR headset, a Bluetooth mouse is uh, amazing. Uh, and of course, uh, with my Bluetooth keyboard and my Bluetooth mouse, uh, I can connect to my uh, Android devices uh, without a dongle. Uh, that's useful. Let me switch back to Windows. Um, nope, I don't want to log in. Right, okay, so let me move my Android phone aside. I'm going to switch off Bluetooth here. Let's have a look at Windows then. see if I can uh, do this a bit better all right so um, left button scroll so there are a couple of functions that uh, we can uh, set uh, I have got to play around with this more because like this is like the first time I'm actually seeing this uh, but you can swap left or right buttons um, Scroll left, scroll right, middle button, forward, right, so you can actually configure uh, the feature. So let, let me just have a quick look and then um, I will come back and uh, give you some details. Alright, so uh, I have found out a bit more information uh, with the software. So there are, there are actually seven buttons and um, I'll tell you where those things are. So traditionally we have got left click, right click and we have the scroller that's basically it for most basic mouse um, so on top of the left click, right click and the scroller okay, we also have a scroller click you can click on the scroller okay, and uh, that's the scroller click and then the scroller you can actually click it left and click it right so you can click right this way click left click right so there's a two extra buttons here and of course your side buttons you have to you can have uh, the first side button and second right button so in the logitech software you can actually control the scroll left so if you push it left um, the page would scroll left uh, which is configurable so you can configure it to to do volume control if you like uh, or any of this uh, other functions that you can set calculator for example right so if I do calculator so if I scroll there calculator starts can you see that so I'm just gonna turn it off okay so I've set it to scroll left button uh, as calculator let me just make sure I put this correctly so you can see this correctly okay so if I click left, calculator actually starts on the background at this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to set it back to scroll left and you can set the scrolling speed. So what else can you set? Um, scroll left, scroll right, middle button which is the um, scroller button. You can set the forward button and the back button on the side. Um, and you can control the... Uh, pointer speed and also configure flow so Logitech flow is basically uh, letting you copy and paste um, content between two computers through one single mouse okay so I will go play around with uh, the software a, a little bit more Let me just see make sure I have this okay uh, I'm going to push this aside and then we will have a uh, So the uh, device itself, let me just zoom in and see, okay, um, initial impressions, amazing, I've always loved uh, Logitech devices because you know they last so long and the quality um, and the usage uh, quality of this is actually, uh, of all Logitech devices that I've ever owned is amazing. So, um, I wouldn't think twice uh, to use a Logitech device. Now, this specific unit, this specific unit, I've been wanting to buy a Bluetooth mouse for the longest time for my Android phone uh, and tablets. Uh, this is actually amazing uh, because it supports uh, wireless and Bluetooth together. Uh, it's got multiple control buttons. 
it's got very long battery life well i have to test that but the packaging says 24 months or two years on a single double a um it's got the unifying controller which uh, stores in the mouse and um, the feel is really good uh, it's a bit noisy but there's a different model which is the 590 uh, which is actually having silent keys or silent clicks uh, but this is good for me and at uh, just under $20 I think I bought it for about 17 US dollars this is a real um, value buy now uh, if there was one mouse that I would recommend to everyone definitely get this right the uh, M585 uh, or the silent uh, M590 um, definitely worth um, the money spent right so if you've got any questions uh, on this mouse uh, please feel free to leave a comment below and if I find out anything new I will post it in the comments below as well alright see you guys in the next video